Hello everybody, I'm Jane and before we go over to the classroom today, we're going to have a look at our showcase of work that you've been doing during the lockdown. So for today, we have Sarah's daughter who has made this. Yes, it's a brilliant castle made out of a tissue box. So well done Mara for that work. So let's head over to the classroom now. Hello, so today's lesson is all about can you name the objects from my office? So here I am in the office and I'm going to begin with the first object. What's this? Yes, it's a stapler. Well done. What about this? Highlighter. So I use a highlighter in my classes to highlight, that means to show up, certain words and phrases that we need to use. So arm yourself with a highlighter. It means get a highlighter and take it to classes. And when you're learning English, use the highlighter to indicate, to show which words are important for you during that class. Now, what about this? Now this, it's called a roll because we've rolled up these sticky labels and you might call these adhesive labels, you might call them sticky labels. They're labels that you can actually take off the roll and stick onto your books or your folders. Very useful if you want to reuse the folders and papers that you have. Now, what about this? Do you have one of these? My hole punch. Very important for me because I buy lots of different types of paper and some of the paper doesn't have holes already punched in it. So this is what the hole punch is for, to punch holes in my paper. So punch just means make, it doesn't mean punch in the way that you might consider fight. Oh, I bet you know what the next one is called. Yes, it's a paper clip and you can have large paper clips or you can get paper clips in much smaller sizes. And what do you call this? I can open this up and I can put paper inside. Now, this is called a polyfile. It might also be called a plastic wallet. Some people call it a folder, but really you should call it either a plastic wallet or a polyfile. And finally, we have this in my office. Yes, you're correct. You can either call this Prit Stick, which is the name, or you can call it glue. I usually refer to this as Prit Stick. And that's the end of the objects in my office today. I wonder if you can tell me how many of those objects you use in your class or you have in your home or in your bag that you keep all of your classwork for learning English. And we'll see you next week with another room in my house. Bye now.